OK, takže vítam všetkých pri ďalšej časti. Minulé to bolo, ten konec bol hrozný teda, to som sa normálne zlakol. Si nejaký naštvaný telefónny operátor, ktorému vynadala Jess, <laughs> že ich sleduje. OK, takže tu máme nejaké nové, nový status, čo to tu máme, už sa pozriem neč. Ah. Takže ideme prehľadá, prehľadávať, tu je tá stará maska, čo som minulé našiel, stará banická plynová maska. Podľa mena, ktoré je napísané vnútri, patrila nejakému baníkovi, ktorý sa volal Billy Bates. <coughs> Skoro ako Billy Gates. OK. Tu máme. Aha, to je tá indiánska, respektíve kniha o indiánoch a symboloch. Americkí lovci používali symboly a znamenia vylité do stromov alebo do stien na komunikáciu s ostatnými členmi kmeňa. Takže obrázok Huntera znamenal dobrú, dobré územie pre lov. Symbol motýla nejaký sen do budúcnosti a v budúcnosti to neviem čo je. Lepka bola Spell Protecting je <coughs> nejaké kúzo, ktoré chránilo proti zlým duchom. Fajn. Vidíte, že nemali čo robiť, nemali televízor, vymýšľali takéto prostosti. Čo máme? Bude hrdina. No. Čo len bude hrdina, teraz kedy ju bude treba zachraňovať. Čakaj, to malo koľko stránok, až tri? No, takže ideme na to, ideme do tej knižnice. Čo nás tam poslala tá, ten duch Hanach? OK. Poďme za Jess, či vlastne... Really za Ashley. Či by som tak vedel, kde je knižnica? Čo to je? No a ja to je pôsob na okuliare, ktoré patrilo v Hanach. Zaujímavé, to som ešte neobjavil. Dobre. Máme ho tu niekde. Máme. Uh-huh. A to je zaujímavé, že akože stále sú tie devčatá iba akože sa stratili, missing. To znamená, že nikdy nenašli ich tela. Takže stále sú ako pohrešované, že sa stratili, pritom ale oni sú mŕtve, ale to nikto akože nemôže dokázať, lebo asi ich nenašli, takže ich niekto musel buď to pochovať, alebo... Alebo zjesť. No, že ja to fakt inak nevidím. To má všetko možné. Čakajte, ešte sa pozriem sem, nevedia von, čo tu je nič tu je, počkaj, ty ideš tady to? Je tady, tak ja idem tady to. Aha, tak nejdem. Ja som chcel tady to ísť, no dobre. Damn it. Push the button. Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for. Push the button. Zajímá se nám ta ten duch, jak nám pon pomáhá, no? Odstavuje nám tam knížky, ukazuje, takže je tu. Sranda. Co tu máme, že to když zajímá, ale asi nic. Co to byl nějaký tajný vchod asi do nějaké místnosti? Alebo části domu, dobře? Mám rád tajné chodby. Počkej, toto jsou nejt... Počkej, tam bude asi aj tie zavreté dvere, alebo tie sú kde? Aha, tie sú hen tam. Otoč sa, baj naspäť. 
Aha, tam sa nedá ísť, dobre. Trošku sa tu blbo ovláda, ale nevadí. Aha, sa nie som chcel ísť fajn. Je to nejaká pracovňa asi, no. Tu je stôl. Dokonca aj fotela. Teda, ale keď už nastane, no nič, už sem poslal, mám aspoň tú elektriku vybaviť. Tak tu po tme. Sice je to napínavejšie, ale... Si si nedolámala nechtík. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house? I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 you go. Hehehe. Čo, bojíš sa? Nebojíš sa, ja sa tiež bojím. Hm, čo je to čierno-biele? To je nejaká kamera? Á, fotečka našich dvoch sestier. Á, je to tetovanie tam a to mám otvielika, no. Čo? Čo si všetko? Ha. Ja ťa ťa a vzpíš ťa ako píx a rýp ťa zvýšená 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 Dobre, toto mohol takto napísať nejaký blázon. To už som aj neukazoval. To je nejaký vyšinutý. Ale ukáže mi to však, nech vie. This is serious. We need to find Josh right now. No, no, but what kind of stuff are you talking about? You're just going to get a status update. What's that? I'm updating. Look, I don't see him. Aha, honest. The phone is on the camera. Last night, look. The tiny apartment. Where did you get him? I found Josh. I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went. Otvorili sa dvere? Samé od seba? Že by stále tá Hanach tu strašila? Neboj sa, to je len duch, ktorý nám tu ukazuje cestu. Vedie nás, ale tu je nejaká pekná maska indiánska. To je nejaká pekná socha indiánska. Saka, čo tu máte ešte? Tu nie je nič. Je tu nejaká soška. Alebo čo to je? Á, hovorím, tu je indián ešte, plagát. Tak sa nám rozsnežilo vonku, čo už sú Vianoce. Si to sneží, aj keď sú nie Vianoce, ale nevadí. No, drahý pán Svefhem. November 8, 2013, doktor C. Jr. Vancouver, thank you for your response. Ďakujem vám za vašu odpoveď. Bla, bla, bla. Ďakujem, že to vznikla Josh's mňa. Ďakujem, že to vznikla 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 No fajn, kaž to ešte raz, som si to neprečítal, čo tam je napísané. No to spomína nejakých indiánov, no nejaký kmeň a tak ďalej a tak ďalej. No dobre, či to túto celé nemá nejaké ešte zákulisie s indiánmi. No ich duchmi a ja neviem čím všetkým. Samý indián to tu je. No. 
Ale sme sa tu dostali. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it... It, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like... like a warning. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. <laughs> You hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Coming! Hold on! Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Do it again! Ashley! Are you um, gonna... Did you just do something else? Or do you want to do it? Ash? Ash? Oh! Sacra. Takže nejaký chlap si vraj sa vyhlážal tento Washington rodine, že ich pozabíja a spáli to tu všetko do tla. Takže možno, že to bude naozaj on tu návraždiť, kto vie. Tak ale tie dve devčatá nezabíli až tak úplne priamo, oni sa tam šmykli, spáli dole, ale... Pekná šipka. To by nezabrudil. Hm, zvláštne. Možno som nemal ísť dovnútra. <laughs> no pekne, tento tu začína mať vyzdobené, čím ďalej tým lepšie, mám taký dojem. Čiže ako je psychiatra, bude pacient. Tam musím nosiť tento jeho ony? Zákazník, klient? to výzdobu. Zase nejaké obrázky. No a ukáž. Keď to musí byť. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. No, no, my answer is important. So, which of these two posters am I the most? I prefer to be the same. But this is the only one. If I decide to do something, it will be the same in the next game. If I do the same, then I will die. Or the other way around. No, what? No, it's the same for me. The same for me. The same for me. Keďže už nie je zlý, alebo nesympatický, ale keď si mám vybrať, no toto teraz vážne neviem, ale Emily je hnusná. By zaslúžila vyhodiť po holej. Dáme metaj, keď ten tiež, akože. Ale aspoň je normálny. No, toto je ťažko povedať. Quiz je zábavný, Ashley je taká romantická, zahodená, zamyslená. Čo ja viem. Hm, hm, hm. Hm, hm, hm. Toto je ťažké rozhodovanie. Zatom aj taká panikárka. Chris možno, že není taký. Ťažko povedať, no. Hm, 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 hm. A je, dám Chrisa. Dúfam, že to nemá nejaké oné hrozné následky. Ježišmária. Za jednoznačne Mike. Jessica je... Jessica? Toto čo už usmieva. Aha, to sa máme ďalšie páry. Tak, tu nás vyberieme. Joša, jasne. Nechceme Emily. Emily je zlá. Jessica, Jessica, Ashley, jasne. No? Kto ti z toho vychádza? Vyberieme. 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 Who is it? 
Kto sa mi najviac v tejto hre nepáči? No neviem, Jessica je taká, no akože trošku, no ale Emily, neviem, no, dáme Emily. Máš pokazené hodiny, že sme len začali. Máš peknú izdobu tu máš, toto keby som ja mal doma a sa zobudím pritom, tak sa ma nezlaknem. OK! Uf! Dobre, čo on spraví s týmito telami, no keď sa doteraz nenašli. Keby som vedel, či sa do tej miestnosti malo ísť, alebo som mal posledť tam len ostať stáť a nič nerobiť, že možno by tam neišiel. To som neskúsil, že tam budem len stáť, lebo som nevedel, čo je na druhej strane. No. To som zvedal, jak to zem toho dopadne. Lojalita. 7 hodín pred úsvitom, super. OK, fuck, 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 ale fuck si necháme na budúce. OK. A tu nejaký nový bonusový kontent. Keďže toto videjko bolo trošku kratšie, ja by som to sem nejak napasoval. By som nemusel robiť kvôli tomu, akože je zvlášť videa, takže... Si to pozrite, kto chcete. To rozhovorí s hercami a ako sa robili scény rôzne, takže ďakujem za toto video, ako pozrite, majte sa pekne zase na budúce, bye bye. I am Hayden Penetier and we are here at the studio recording Until Dawn. My name is Rami Malek and I play Josh. My name is Megan Martin. My name is Brett Dalton. My name is Antonella Lentini and I played Hannah and Beth. My name is Jordan Fisher and I play the character Matthew, Matt for short. I'm Nicole Bloom and I play Emily in the game. My name is Noah Fleiss. I am Galadriel Steinman and I play Ashley. So Until Dawn is the story of eight teenagers who uh, revisit this cabin in the woods about a year later after a, a really traumatic experience where I've lost two of my sisters, so come in and kind of get some closure in that respect. One of the things that Larry does really well is make these multi-layered characters, and I think for just the story in general, it's, it follows the quintessential horror film plot lines, but the characters are so unique in themselves, and I think that's very cool. Oh, yeah, this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. Sam, Sam and I have uh, a few things in common, such as being huge lovers of animals. And she's a huge animal lover. She's vegan. She... Um, She is a pacifist. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go as far as saying that I'm a pacifist, but uh, she's spunky and cool. I know that she, I think, is, is made fun of a little bit by the rest of them who, who think that her morals and her beliefs in that area are a little ridiculous and they don't agree with them, but she doesn't care. It doesn't stop her from being herself, and that's something that... I hope I have in common with her. You know, he definitely uh, can be depressed at some times and a bit of a loner, but he, he takes some solace in one of his sister's friends, Sam, played by Hayden Penetier, and uh, invites everybody back to the same house the next year to kind of find some closure. 
Jessica is, oh, she has a whole lot of personality. She is definitely the sort of mean girl character that, you know, at school she, she knows she's pretty, she knows that boys like her and she's gonna use it to her advantage. He's got a big heart and you can tell that that's very evident, especially how he treats his girlfriend, Emily, and um, you know, he's, he's kind of a meathead, but in the best way possible. She really knows what she wants, and she manages to, to get that from whomever it is, whether it be Matt or Mike, you know, she's really driven, and I can definitely relate to that. My, my character is uh, Chris, and he is uh, what society might consider the nerd of the group. Um, and, and he kind of embraces it. Um, Ashley is, she's a little more serious than some of the other girls. Um, she's definitely very intelligent and, and thoughtful. She kind of looks at the whole big picture of things. She's not quite as geeky as Chris, but they connect in a lot of ways. Mike is like big guy on campus. He's uh, the class president who has some charm and has, has a brain. And I, I don't know, people seem to like Mike. He gets away with a lot, though. He's, he can be kind of kind of jerky. The fact that he, he really just kind of wants everyone to be happy when he wants for, he's, he's a people pleaser. And um, it's, I can, I can definitely attest to being, you know, that guy. I'm, I'm always the friend that wants everybody to be happy and wants everybody to be taken care of. And that's definitely Matt. But also like this character is just so fun. I rarely get to play the bitch. And so it was really, it was really fun to do that. The spirit of things, seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. I just think this is just the coolest thing to be a part of. And um, I just think it's gonna take the world by storm. I really do. I think this genre is the wave of the future. And I think that um, once people see the potential behind it uh, of getting to interact with the drama that you're witnessing unfold um, in such a realistic way, um, that this, this is how entertainment's going to be from now on. Hi, this is Lee Robinson, production designer on Until Dawn. The production design for Until Dawn started with the great teen horror script that sets the characters in a Canadian winter mountain lodge, being a contemporary setting with visual clues derived from classic films of that genre, such as Hitchcock's Psycho and Stanley Kubrick's Shining. The storyboards are vital to the production design as it allows the designer to understand the scale of the environments to be made and the detail that would be seen to create the atmosphere of a horror. This took us into concepts that took these storyboards further, visualizing the world through the color palette, the lighting, tone and the mood, and developing key locations such as the lodge, the cable car stations, the forests themselves, the wilderness. As you can see, the environments and atmospheres change quite a bit from warm and inviting to cold and threatening. The Millionaire's Mountain Lodge was a key example. It was designed to be made from nearby stone and timber, embedding it into the landscape, with a contrasting and contemporary interior needing to be opulent and extravagant. We created dark and claustrophobic corridors with ominous and large open spaces, almost cathedral-like in size, and with huge structures to silhouette and dwarf the characters within providing a labyrinth to explore and wander. Each character was developed with a strong visual identity in mind, with contrasting colours, tones and silhouettes to identify them, each to have their own texture, pattern and shape, so that when they were lined up you could always identify them. The costume designs allowed a range of clothes that would suit them for the cold winter weather but also have an element of style and individualism, so that the audience could look at them and relate recognizing themselves within them. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right, well, it'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. My yeah. fire and mood lighting. Yes. Working with the lighting artists, we really brought the look and feel of the world together. And this required a thorough understanding of the visual language of teen horror. 
A key scene was where all the characters emerge out of the rear of the lodge chasing Hannah. A contrast is evident straight away from the exterior wilderness to the warmth of the lodge. The attention to character lighting here is through the bounce and rim lighting, accented colours and composition, creating characters that come from the dark into the light and back again with an emotional effect. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? Oh, it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han.